Hey guys, welcome to the farm. I'm Bree with Blossom and Branch. Today, we're gonna to be talking about dahlias. Dahlias are by far one of our favorite flowers here at the farm. So today we're gonna to talk about our top five tips to growing dahlias. My number five tip is to make sure that you're selecting the right variety if you're trying to grow a cutting garden. So many varieties of dahlias are actually made for bedding plants. Bedding plants just means that they're meant to be grown in a garden with lots of other plants and maybe not get too tall and floppy. But the dahlias that we want to grow for cutting actually tend to get quite tall. So we want to make sure that we're selecting one that has a height of at least three feet or more. The number four thing to consider when growing dahlias is some kind of support. These guys do get really big and top heavy with lots of blooms, so you wanna make sure you have a plan in place to keep them from flopping over. Now there are lots of different ways to support your plants. It kind of depends how many you're growing. If you're just growing one or two, you can just stake them and tie them to a stake, just like a tomato plant. But if you're growing a lot of them together, which is the way we like to do it, we use this netting that goes horizontally across. And then we also do another layer up top that's a twine, and this twine is to help as they get taller. So as they start to grow, they'll grow through this horizontal netting, which gives them support at the base. And then as they get taller, we have the twine up top, which helps keep those blooms from flopping over. You can see how we've taken that horizontal netting and we've zip tied it to some metal hoops. These metal hoops are going to be strong enough to hold the weight of the dahlias. If, however, you don't have hoops, you can use a metal T-post, which is also going to be strong enough to hold the weight of these dahlias. Here's our upper twine, and you can see how it's holding these in all the way along until it gets to the next support hoop. Number three is pests. Now, hopefully you won't have too many pests on your dahlias, but we do tend to have a few earwigs, Japanese beetles, and grasshoppers tend to be worse for us. But because we don't use pesticides, we actually rely on these cool little organza bags. These are just gonna slip right over the top of your dahlia bloom. And we usually do it, if we're seeing a lot of pest pressure, we usually do it when the blooms are just starting to show color. And that way they're gonna be protected the most. If you wait until they're too big, then you're gonna have trouble. Some of those petals are already gonna be nibbled on and you're gonna see the damage once those blooms open. So if you're going to protect your blooms with organza bags, do it while they're still small. Slip that organza bag right over the top and pull tight. Our number two tip on growing dahlias is to please not over fertilize. Dahlias in particular are sensitive to too much nitrogen and if you give them too much nitrogen, they're going to result in big bushy plants and lots of leaves and not many blooms. So unless that's what you're going for, please dial back on your fertilizing schedule. We just do a little bit of alfalfa pellet over the ground in the spring before we plant these guys in. And my number one most important tip when growing dahlias is to not overwater. Dahlias are native to Mexico and they actually prefer dry conditions, especially when they're starting to grow. So after we plant our tubers in the soil in the spring after last frost, we're going to only water them one time and then we're going to try to keep them as dry as we can until we see them coming up and out of the ground. Once those plants have come out of the soil and they have two or three sets of leaves, then you can start regular watering. One quick harvest tip on dahlias is to be sure you're cutting them nice and long. It can be scary cutting dahlias, especially the first time. But you do want to make sure that you're cutting them really long because that's going to encourage branching lower down on the plant. One tip when you're harvesting dahlias is to make sure that you're cutting them nice and long. So if you start cutting them too shallow, they're going to branch from higher up, which is going to lead to a top heavy plant that might risk toppling over. However, if we're cutting them nice and long, it's going to encourage branching down below, lower down on the plant, which will help keep them more sturdy and it's going to encourage more long stems. As a general guideline, I always say cut at least as long as your fingers to your elbow. While dahlias will not continue to open too much more in the vase, we usually don't want to cut them fully open. If we cut them fully open, it's just going to mean a shorter vase life. So one like this where the edges are starting to brown and the petals are starting to fold back means it's too far gone. Versus this one where the petals are still nice and tight and the center is not fully blown open is perfect. Dahlias tend to be a little bit of a tricky one to hydrate. They have these hollow stems, and so there's a couple things that help. Number one is cutting them in the morning when they're actually the most hydrated. If we cut them during the heat of the day, they're really gonna struggle. So cut them first thing in the morning, and then cut them and put them into a few inches of very hot water. That hot water actually absorbs up the stem better than cold water, and while those are uptaking that water, we put them in a nice, dark, cool place. Once they're hydrated after a few hours, you can take them out and use them normally. But that's gonna give them the best start and the best vase life for you. 
Now you will have to dig up your dahlias in the fall depending on your zone. If you're zone eight or warmer, you can probably leave them in the ground, but we would recommend tarping them if you tend to have wet winters because remember, dahlias hate too much moisture and they could rot in the ground. If you're in zone eight or cooler, we recommend you dig them up every fall. We're gonna have more tips coming on that soon. All right guys, I hope you all enjoyed talking about dahlias today. They're one of my personal favorite flowers and they're really fun and rewarding to grow. So I hope you give them a try.